Hey everybody, this is Sonya Jones of GIP Financials, where our mission is to get you and your money in position for life. What type of life you ask, the life that you desire. And so as we're going through this pandemic and everybody's in the house, I said, you know what, let me just start posting content about some of the tips and tricks that I use, whether it's in my business or personal, just to... Um, give you guys an opportunity to get to know me and vice versa so we can engage and start building a little community if you will so if you see here this is my office it is junky right now because i'm doing stuff for work at school and other projects so i got a futon in here file cabinet my piano of course and i've had the piano since i was like in fifth grade so sentimental value so but that's kind of my office if you will but today i want to talk about one of the practices that i do um it's called the tax box and so i'm going to flip my camera over if it will allow me to i'm still learning if it'll allow me to let me see if i do it if not i might just have to do it this way i don't think it's gonna let me rotate so with that being said let me do it I got to, I got to sit with it. All right. So what I have here is my tax box. And basically what the tax box is that I basically put every document in my family's household, whether it's check stubs, any medical receipts, retirement, car tags, anything pertaining um, to our rental property. We have rental property, um, Anything pertaining to our home-based business, all receipts going here, even expenses for our job that um, we don't get reimbursed for, so to speak. I put that in here, too, so I'm going to try to see if I can open it up. I don't know why I won't let me flip my thing over, but as you can see, all the stuff's kind of in here, and it's kind of all over the place. So, of course, it's not organized. So... What I normally do around tax time, I try to do it over winter break when we're out of school. Put this down. So, I can get it organized. So, that was the 2020 tax box. This is the 2019 box. Let's see, let's see if I can pick it up. Multitasking here. Should have had Tyler in here helping me. But... Let me see if I can adjust some stuff. So, with the tax box, as you can see, this is a little bit more organized. I got some items here, like our medical insurance. Like, if we have specific things, specific projects, like an insurance claim or a car wreck. You were in a car wreck last year, so all of our particular documents for that are in a, uh, a large envelope like that and so some of our other items are bound by paper clips so you got car stuff you've got this is our rental property stuff here all of our credit card bills i put all that in one thing uh-oh stuff falling and what else I got? Let's see. This is all the information for our primary residence. I showed you the stuff for the um, investment property. What else I got? It's our retirement. And even like our bank statements, I put all those things together in one pile. All of our check stubs in one pile. So, I had I couldn't do this thing reverse wise, but we also even have a miscellaneous, this big old thing, that's our medical expenses, big old, big old container. And one thing I will say about the medical expenses is that, especially now since the standard standard deduction is so large for married people, I believe it's still $24,000, um, we don't even do anything with our medical expenses but one thing i can say if you are itemizing your insurance company should have a like an annual 
summary of everything you've been charged for, your amount of co-pays, all that good stuff. So, um, like, I'm with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. Rico, through his job, is with Cigna. We can log in through there and just download the 2019 annual review. And if you want to itemize, you can just have that sum right there instead of tallying up all your Walgreens and all your doctor bills and all that. Because that's a, that could take up a big chunk of your time. Let's see here. What else we got in there? All right, did all the car stuff. All the car stuff has like the car notes, Firestone, all that stuff. And where's my miscellaneous folder? Because some things doesn't have like a particular um, place to go or it's not a lot of documentation to kind of house on its own. So this is what I put here for the 2019 miscellaneous item. So it has tickets. Like, so, uh, for parking tickets, stuff like that. Um, I did some freelancing for a particular vendor, so I have that information in here. Um, all the kids' expenses, like, for aftercare, school supplies, stuff like that. And I also have on here, like, Rico has his handgun permit, stuff like that in there as well. So, anytime that you have some information that doesn't require its own little little section if you will you can do that and last but not least where is my for all of the um like your w-2s and your mortgage insurance stuff all that type of stuff that should also be in its own i normally put it in a folder and i bet you with my silly self i bet you i put it somewhere i bet it's in my 2020 tech stuff because i was doing some paperwork and i needed that information yeah but i normally put my 2019 like the w-2s anything that you're gonna need student loans uh retirement if you have a, a money market account any type of savings and you have the um uh, the 1099 to report your earnings all that stuff that needs to be definitely be in its own folder and as soon as you get that stuff you put it in the folder so you won't have to go around looking for it. Okay. So this is one of the tips and tricks that I use. So like I said, you can get these boxes here from, I got these from Office Depot and I got a whole like 10 pack of them. I think it was like maybe $20 or so. It wasn't a lot. Um, And you can just throw all your stuff in this text box and then over winter break, Sit in front of the TV, Ben's watch your stuff on Netflix and just sort all your stuff out. Get some post-it notes, label everything, and then when tax time comes, you'll have everything organized and ready. Okay? So if you have any other uh, questions, feel free to email me at info at gipfinancials.com um, or you can go to our website, www.gipfinancials.com. I do offer free consultation, so if you need a thinking partner about your money, I'm right here for you, and just schedule an appointment with me, all right? Talk to you guys later. Peace, and get that money in position.